close your eyes and watch your breath. If you can't stay with the breath, think the word butto together with the breath. Boot coming in, to going out. That's the quality of being awake. You want to be awake to what's going on in the mind. At the same time, you try to get it to settle down, because if you're not awake, it's going to go wandering off. And then the important thing is, once it's wandered off, what are you going to do? Are you going to let it continue to wander, or are you going to come back? If you want to get anything out of the meditation, you've got to come right back. You have to do it as quickly as you can. The Buddha said it's like knowing that there's a fire in your hair. You do everything you can. You're as mindful and alert and relentless in putting it out as quickly as possible. Because otherwise, it can do a lot of damage. And it's the same with these wandering thoughts. They can do a lot of damage to the mind if you let them take hold. So as soon as you see something has come up that's pulling you away from the breath, you just let it go right then, right there. You don't have to tie up any loose ends. You don't have to see where it's going to go. Just stay right here with your breath, with your breath. This is being quick in dealing with this. This is important. One of the principles the Buddha gave in the Mangala Sutta about things that are blessing in life is jobs that are not left unfinished. In other words, something's got to be done. You do it right away. You don't wait until the next day, because otherwise you end up with lots of unfinished business just kind of hanging around. So figure out what's really important in your life and do that. It's not going to be the case that you can finish everything. But what really is important, what really is important, of course, is what's going on in your mind. Where is your mind going? What tendencies is it developing? Because if it keeps going over certain thoughts again and again and again, it gets deeper and deeper into these ruts, and then it gets harder to get out. So before the rut gets formed, you want to make sure that you've gotten out of those unskillful states. And you create different sets of ruts, ruts that go in the good direction, that lead you to true happiness. So this kind of job can't be left off for tomorrow. Sometimes you say, well, I'm too young right now, wait till I get a little bit older. If you're a child, you say, wait till I finish my education. You finish your education, say, wait till I've got a job and settle down, then I'll practice. Of course, then when you settle down, you have kids, you have to wait until they're grown. And of course, when you're, when you're that old, what happens? Because the kids say, you're old now. You can't see things clearly, you can't hear things clearly. You go to the monastery, you're going to fall down. You end up never getting done the jobs that really need to be done, i.e. the jobs in your own mind. So realize that no matter how old or young you are, right now is the time to do the work on your mind so that greed, aversion, and delusion don't take over. Don't leave these jobs unfinished. We take care of lots of all the details in the world outside, but we tend to forget the major jobs that need to be done in our minds, and they don't get easier as you get older. It's not going to be easier to set long periods of meditation when, you're, when your legs are no longer good or your back isn't feeling good, or you can't hear the, the Dharma talk. So you've got the opportunity right now, make, make the most of the opportunity right now to straighten out your own mind, because this is something you really can do. This is something that really is your direct responsibility. Nobody else can do it for you. You can't push it off on someone else to do the work. You've got to do it yourself, and it's not going to get easier, as I said. So make up your mind you're going to do it right now. Greed comes up, you let it go right now. You don't see any mindfulness will give rise to it right now. It's by doing the good things right now that they actually get accomplished. And when the time comes that you no longer have the opportunity to do these things, where well, you look back and you realize, okay, I made good use of my time. You can leave without regret. It's those, un it's those missed opportunities that make us regret when we have to leave. So make sure there's no missed opportunities in training your mind to be a mind that you can depend on. Because that's going to be a treasure that's a treasure here and now and a treasure as you carry it on to the next life.